Hello again. Uh, we're now drawing to the end of this chapter. Uh, so this is the, the last video for this chapter. And so it's just a, a couple of things uh, for us to go through. So I, I guess taking a, a bigger perspective again, if we think about some of the things that we've looked at uh, in this chapter, uh, we've looked at the, the number of stakeholders that are involved in building and operating networks. And it's not just the end users that matter. It's not just the people running the networks that matter. We look at the people who are developing the applications, the people who might actually be running the infrastructure that an organization rents to provide a, a particular network service. Uh, and then you know, interacting with this, you've got the equipment vendors, uh, the people who are actually producing, as we said, the software. And some of this can actually be open source tools or uh, commercial tools uh, that are being used to, to build these network services or to manage these systems. So it's really, and there's other stakeholders as well. So it's it really is quite a, a broad activity that involves uh, a great many people. And all of this is actually enabled by computer networks being general purpose and repurposable. So we talked about the, uh, the TCP IP network stack that makes it quite easy to slot new protocols in, as well as, of course, the considerable flexibility within the existing protocols uh, that it has as well. And so this, together with the increasing software performance and the creation of uh, you know, software-centric devices for networking as well, really means that the whole network space is pushing progressively from hardware into the software space. So we end up with software-defined networks uh, and these kinds of issues, that the, the outcomes from it, creations, that allow much more flexible and dynamically so uh, network services and networks to be built. And so these are a, a trends that you'll see. And also the the increasing prevalence of clouds, and this is also uh, directly related to this ability of software-defined networking, so that you can, you know, lease, uh, you know, facilities from in a cloud, including the network facilities, to connect them to the world, uh, so that you can deliver your services. So, a number of the world's uh, quite prominent online companies actually don't own their infrastructure; they're simply using you know, cloud facilities to provide that. Uh, so, Duolingo, uh, I think Airbnb. Uh, there's a number of these that are, are simply using cloud services because it lets them, uh, you know, particularly at the beginning, it let them very cheaply and easily, uh, you know, come into market, and then because the cloud will let them scale what they're doing quite quickly, uh, they've been really valuable tools for them uh, to grow their businesses over time. And so these trends, I think, will continue. Uh, it's interesting with the cloud. There's now kind of more thinking around the security sides of cloud, and pardon me, the security implications uh, of using a, a, a cloud environment. And so these are all things that we'll uh, kind of see. But again, uh, to summarize this chapter uh, quite quickly, um, we've tried to understand what a computer network is and what we can hope to get from it and what we can make use of a computer network to achieve. And we've seen that a layered architecture is actually really key to being able to make useful, repurposable uh, long-lived networks and network designs. Uh, we had a bit of a look at the socket interface and we've seen how that's kind of this common building bo block uh, for building networked applications and we might have a look at that in some of the assessment work as we move forward. <coughs> Indeed, actually, we may look at this, uh, all of this in assessment work moving forward. Uh, and then we had a bit of a look at some of the ways that we might measure network performance, so things like bandwidth and latency, propagation time, transmission time, uh, these are all really key concepts that you want to uh, uh, to get a good handle on. So um, now that you've watched the videos, um, you know have a, a read through the, the textbook uh, again or for the first time, uh, ask questions, and uh, yeah, uh, try and get this foundation really solid so that you can use that to build on throughout the rest of the course. So thanks again uh, for watching. And again, chuck comments down there if there's any questions or comments that you have that we can uh, respond to to help you in your learning journey. And uh, we'll see you next time.